Ever since we were kids, my brother and I had facial hair and loved playing video games. We really liked playing one game in particular, Far Cry 5. Now, it wasn't because of the story or the characters, but because of the shovel launcher. In all of its glory, it could take out enemies fast and it knocks the bad guys back hundreds of feet. One day, I thought to myself, could I build a shovel launcher in real life? But then I remembered I was just a kid who didn't know anything and went back to playing the game. But now that I'm older, I can do anything. I first tested something that you can easily make at home with PVC pipe. This is a potato gun, and it's quite powerful. Woo, oh, baby! Now I want to see if it's powerful enough to shoot a shovel. Yeah, it's simply not powerful enough to, to shoot the shovel out of the end of it. So, potato gun is not powerful enough for the shovel. The gas was just escaping anywhere possible, so it is not powerful enough. So because this is not powerful enough. I need something that can contain a much larger, more powerful explosion. And I just simply need to upgrade this entire thing to be more powerful. My friend gave me the scuba tank. This would be perfect to handle a powerful explosion. <laughs> because the scuba tank is aluminum, I tried brazing an aluminum pipe to the end of it and that didn't work. So I had my friend try to weld it together, which also didn't work. Whoa, 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 let's rewind here. Let's go back to what I should have done. I should have went to the scrapyard and found a pipe that just so happens to perfectly fit in the scuba tank. Then put a nut on that metal pipe, then weld another metal pipe to that nut, then attach another metal pipe to the metal pipe. Uh, that's so beautiful. I can't breathe. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Woo! Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. Boom! So now that that's taken care of, this hairspray is not going to be powerful enough, so I need to find an alternative. So, I'm going to build a hydrogen generator. I started by taking apart the first hydrogen generator I tried to build, then also took apart the second generator I tried to build, and I don't even want to talk about the third one. And after drilling out some washers and press fitting some nylon spacers, then putting them on the rods, it was time to install it into the container. No! Fuck! Nice. Well, okay. But just when I thought I had given up, something happened. I can't give up tonight. I went to the store and bought a new container, and this one's plastic, so I can drill through it and it shouldn't crack, hopefully. After drilling holes in the new container, I installed the rods with the washers and the tube into the container. Then, after connecting a battery... It's working! Woo! See that? It's working. Oh, I'm so happy. Look at that. It's actually working. Let me explain how a hydrogen generator works. One rod has a positive connection to the battery, and the other rod is connected to the negative. The nylon spacers I put in the washers prevent the washers from making conductive connection between the rods. Therefore, we have alternatively charged washers. In order for the electricity to make a complete circuit, it has to pass through the water to reach the negative washers. This is called electrolysis, and the electricity going through the water causes the water molecules to separate into two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen. 
These molecules are now in their gaseous form and very explosive if ignited. The gas then exits through the tube, which can then be used for fun things such as exploding water bottles. Now with the shovel launcher complete and a hydrogen generator that finally works, it's time to put them together to launch a shovel just like in the game. I'll be using this remote detonator to fire it from a safe distance. All right, we ready? Yeah. Fire in the water? I don't think so. Three, two, one. Did it work? Is it turned on? Is it gonna... Feeling completely defeated, I went back home to figure out what the issue was. So I figured out what the problem is. The hydrogen gas is all coming up here, and my remote detonator fuse is just staying down here. So it's not able to ignite the gas up here. So I bought these firework fuses. So I'm just going to cut the firework fuse and shove it in all the way up to the top. And then when the remote detonator ignites the fuse, the fire will travel all the way to the top and ignite the hydrogen gas. You see, if there's something you want to do, you can never plan for what challenges or failures that will come. You can prepare all you want, but if you never start, you will never succeed. If you have something you want to accomplish in your life, all I ask of you is to get started. You may not think you're ready, but you'll never be completely ready. When challenges come, you will overcome them, and eventually, you will succeed. Three, two, one. All right, we gotta go. Okay. Okay. Over the fence, over the fence, go, 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 go. Oh, okay. I'm also recording. <laughs> hey! Recording? Yeah. Yeah, baby! Woo! Let's go! I mean, it didn't shoot far, but like, it still shot. It worked! How long, how far is that? Like. <laughs> It shot 25 feet. That's impressive. For that little hydrogen generator to shoot 25 feet and a shoot a shovel 25 feet, that is impressive. Let's go! Oh, I'm so happy. Finally, months of work actually worked. Finally. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Finally did it. <laughs> Shovel launcher finally worked after months of work and I'm so happy. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe and like and I'll see ya.